This is Paul Rowe, and following is a presentation of SAP Business Objects Planning and Consolidation for NetWeaver version 10, What's New, Part 1 of 2. For more information, please call this number. Welcome to the overview of Business Planning and Consolidation version 10 for NetWeaver, the new and uh, latest and greatest enhancements for this version. We'll start off with the front-end dashboard and then we'll work our way into the Excel interface, see some of the new features that are available, provide a brief little five-minute overview here of the application. The front-end dashboard is now broken out into several different um, areas. You see over here on the left-hand side I have several different topics that I can choose from. We'll delve into a couple of those here as we go. A favorites landing area that's very easy for an end user to modify. And then from a creation standpoint, from a web-based report or an input template, you have the create area up here in the top right-hand corner. And then down below, the access to the other known and tried and true areas around Microsoft Office like Excel and Word and PowerPoint, as well as your admin functionality. Some of the things to point out from, from new ways of accessing information, business process flows really laid out very nice and orderly for this version. As you can see here when I select activities I can see all the different process flows that are available for me and then at that point in time I can also select a specific flow and if I double click in the overview area I can dive into the overall details. Then each section or stage is available with its sub steps underneath it and the user can simply go through make the selections and then complete that when they're through. Notice that when I access that another tab opened up makes it easier to navigate. You can have multiple tabs and do multiple different items simultaneously. One of the other pieces that I mentioned too about the ease of use of adding information to a start page, it's as simple as tapping into the library of documents. Those documents can be reports, input templates, Excel reports, it doesn't matter really what it is that you want. You can then go through and select that item. Let's select this dashboard and we'll just select simply add that to the favorites. And once I go back to my dashboard you can see that the main start page has that added to the favorites. One other item to note too is the bigger changes around the consolidation area. Several items to take note of. Consolidation monitor. I can see now everything within one phase of the application, know exactly where everybody's standing so it's a very much a more user friendly and easy way to access the information within the system to see where you stand in the overall consolidation. And then probably the bigger pieces around the ownership management. We've gone from where we were doing it in an Excel environment to now we've got it out to a web-based environment to where you can manage all the different percents of ownership. Makes it easier for an organization to see at a glance. Also makes it easier for you to do what if. So even in here, as I see, I've got the selection of actual here for the different categories that I have. I can then add other categories within the application and move from there. One last piece to note too before we dive into the Excel version of it. Audit reports are now really easy to find. I select the audit capability here and I have several different items that I can then tap into to provide me with the audit reports that are sometimes needed by the external auditors and also just for you as an internal team to basically go through and make sure that everything's done properly. For more information please call this number.